Hi there. I'm showing my latest build here on a bike. I added a gas engine to this bike. So I wanted to give a quick little history of it. I actually bought this bike on Facebook. And I bought a large enough frame bike so it would fit with a motor on it. And this mountain bike had 700C tires or rims. And so I originally started with a bike ferry kit and this is I'm really new to this so I bought that kit tried to put it on I had it mostly put together and I could not get the sprocket on the back wheel to work their setup just I couldn't get it to work so I ended up buying a new wheel on the back dual purpose wheel it has rim brakes and a space for a disc brake and I put a 42 sprocket on there and then I still had the same gear gearbox from Bikeberry I left that on I bought a uh, adapter from Staten to mount the Honda engine to because the other one just wouldn't keep running so that's a 6 to 1 ratio and it has a 10 2 sprocket and I, this last trip, 14 miles, I got about, um, I tops out about 25 miles an hour the way I have it set up. And I averaged about 20 miles per hour the whole trip. So I did really good going up hills. I did not have to pedal. I had to mount the gas tank up high because the gravity flow is, so I'll be working with that some more. That's not how I want it to end up. I have a brake. Not, no, not a brake light, a rear light, and it shows underneath there. And I had to modify that rack to make it work. It has the fenders, because we do have rain here in Washington, so the fenders hopefully will keep from getting too wet. It's still a 24-speed mountain bike, and one thing I want to point out is those spoke protectors, those plastic discs, are really important. I found out the hard way. The chain jumped on the drive side from the engine and I ended up taking it to the bike shop and having six spokes replaced. So now it has a spoke protector. And the other thing is is that the engine mount had to be modified so I actually borrowed parts off another engine mount and mounted it so it seemed to be good. Since it's a Honda engine I had to put some brackets on there to work it. A lot of people take off the Honda carburetor and put on an aftermarket foreign carburetor and I didn't want, want to do that so I kept it all Honda. Another thing really important is these extensions on the pedals. So that's good. It clears the engine even though I didn't have to do any pedaling this last go around. Let's see what other features. I kept the Honda muffler it sounds fine I just wanted to direct it down and I don't have it set up yet but this is kind of what I came up with temporarily so it directs the exhaust away and that seemed to be fine it wasn't too loud riding it the shutoff for the Honda is right here so I did not go back with it on the throttle and even on the front I have a fender new tires new tubes heavy-duty tubes because I don't want to be changing tires if there are tubes if at all possible. Put a light on it. That seemed to work pretty good. Of course, well, this strip was in the daylight. I have a mirror mounted on this side, the left side. I haven't figured out how to mount one on the right yet. Um, I'm supposed to have one, but with the throttle over there, I, I still got to figure that out. And I have a speedometer, which really helped. I got that calibrated. And that really helped. I did not check my miles per gallon because I was only on a 14 mile trip this time. They claim over 100 miles per gallon, but that is yet to be figured out. I was real happy with the performance. Going up hills was good. Didn't have to pedal. It, it slowed down to maybe 20. Even one hill I was going 22, which was perfectly fine to me. 
and then going downhill the engine really doesn't work past 25 so I just let off and just coast and that seems to go pretty good so with the smaller tires it goes flips right along well I hope you enjoyed it this is my third bike second really of a build and after a few tweaks on this I'm on to the next one so this is quite the little habit I've got all right take care